Business Bites. Go further and grow stronger with Invest in I. Join local businesses generating billions exporting to Europe. Check your export readiness with Invest in I's free online export health check. Business Bites with Invest in I. Hello and welcome to another episode of Business Bites, where we delve into local companies right here in Northern Ireland. I'm Caroline Fleck and I'm really excited about this week's guest because let's face it, when you're in business, digital marketing, web design, it can all be so overwhelming. This man is the man to talk to. He is the founder of web design and digital marketing company Profile Tree. It's Kieran Conley. Kieran, welcome to Business Bites. Thank you, Caroline. It's, no, it's brilliant to be here. Listen, I want to go back in time to 2011 at the very start of Profile Tree. What, why set this company up? Tell us a little bit about your background and uh, the, the start of Profile Tree. Gosh, yeah, you're, you're, you're aging me now. So, yeah, I uh, worked on retail before, um, 12, 12 years of retail, brilliant experience. Retail is great, as everyone knows, dealing with customers. Uh, we were moving uh, companies online and I seen that this was probably going to be the future so I realised with, with the, the brands I was working with everything was going e-commerce and I thought okay this is very interesting so I started helping other companies in retail move online started consulting a little bit myself and then realised okay there's a opportunity here for myself and started Profile 3 started getting busy myself took on um, actually one student as a placement and the rest to say is history. So that person still is with us today, uh, as are many of our, our, our early employees, I'm glad to say. And uh, yeah, the businesses went from strength to strength. Well, let's fast forward to 2024. And um, there's so many changes in digital marketing, so many changes in what should a website look like? What should we have there? What shouldn't we have there? How to optimize this and that? What is your advice for web design in 2024? Are we seeing some new trends coming about? Definitely, the biggest one to watch out for is probably, and we, we may even get into it, I, I mentioned the AI word, uh, but but Google is bringing a new search engine, um, generative search, so it, basically it's bringing AI to search engines, so that's going to drive a lot of change for all businesses this year, but, but what we see at web um, and websites this year, the biggest things are the usual suspects, we see it every year, but more important than ever, site speed, make sure you're responsive and mobile, nearly forget about desktop just look at mo mobile how does your website look at mobile classic seo is it is it open and, and the, the search engine is able to read it is it do, do you understand or does the search engine understand what you're offering and what you're selling um, and does it look good but yeah ai as i say that the the ai and robots are going to be reading sites on a line and what you have on your website so one of the biggest things we'd see still with customers and, and, and companies is they're not putting enough content they're not explaining what to do and the, and the services they offer and the products uh, that they sell on the website still today. So content, there is the debate whether content is still king or not. Yeah. I would argue that content is still king, but it's just the type of content. Kieran, would you agree? Totally. And I guess, yeah, content is king. And is it the same? Um, distribution is the queen. So again, where you're putting the content and, and definitely the type of content, that probably leads us into the likes of video. So video Without a doubt, you think of any of the social networks today, it's video led. Uh, the second biggest search in the world is YouTube, which obviously uh, this this is broadcast on as well. It's so, so important that we're able to create videos within our business. We can actually form a relationship with people, even through Zoom, and uh, really get, get people behind the scenes and let them have a glimpse of what we're doing in our business, what services we offer, what products we do. Uh, so again, your video is so, so important. If you can do video in 2024, you'll definitely be getting ahead of the, the competition. So give us a, an example of what kind of video content works and are we repurposing that right across all platforms? Again, all the platforms have different uh, requirements. You have uh, landscape and portrait. Uh, some some platforms will require shorter versions. You could have a long version of a video on, on YouTube and then embed that in your website. And that's you're ticking two boxes there. You're, you're uh, appeasing the people who maybe are, are looking for something on YouTube. Also appeasing the people who maybe be looking for something in Google search. Then when they come to your website, they're seeing a, a great video on that. And then you can repurpose that, cut it down and use maybe snippets of that on social media. LinkedIn is brilliant again for video. And then of course, uh, definitely all the other platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and, and the rest that we we know and love. Um, videos behind the scenes, interviews are great. Get to see a little bit of personality. 
a look behind the scenes, maybe explain what your services are. And again, if a company sells products, uh, how many times you go on the product page, there's very little content, maybe one photo. And we look at Amazon, for example, the, the, the masters of retail at the moment. You go on, you'll see maybe 10 or 15 photos. You'll see a video now, maybe even a video review and so much content. And when we look at small businesses today, they're, they're missing that as well. So, yeah, we need to encourage more people to do video for sure. So uh, small business, obviously, um, prioritizing budgets. The marketing budget, I know from experience, is always the last one on the list. Hi. What, what advice would you give to local businesses who they know they need to spend on digital marketing, but where should they be spending their money and what future trends do you see emerging in digital marketing? Yeah, so again, we, we briefly touched on it. Uh, first place I would look for any small businesses, go to Google and, and type in the brand name and see what people are seeing. Have you got loads of Google reviews? You know, you see the yellow stars on the right hand side. Is your website on the left-hand side, and then have you got your social media profiles down the page? If you've got that, brilliant. Next, a little bit of content on the website, written content, of course, and then the next layer on top of that then is videos. And again, if we can post them onto social media, absolutely brilliant. You don't need a big budget. You can do this yourself, and obviously your business grows. You can scale this up and bring in agencies or uh, employees uh, who, who maybe take some of those features and, and functions off. When we look at videos, again, mobile phones, and again, even today, it's, it's Zoom and a webcam, which is, again, it's 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 perfect. It's, it's great content, so that really works. Future trends need to need to look at AI. We need to we need to, and I think that's probably the biggest area or opportunity for businesses today. Um, we can use and leverage AI to help us scale what we're doing. Again, used to wonder how would you post on six or seven social networks. People would register account on Twitter, maybe never use it. Now you can actually use AI and have it auto tweet and re repurpose content from your website, your posts, and and create these incredible tweets and be present on it and maybe jump in and do engagement so again definitely recommend small businesses we don't have big budgets you need to use uh, ai and automation you know your tools are free or even 10 or 15 pounds a month and there's no excuse and you can scale and, and do things that maybe six months or a year ago that maybe five people are doing and that today's one person uh, can do that I think you hit the, the nail on the head there when it's about when we say AI, we do envisage expense and that's very expensive. It couldn't possibly apply to, to my small, small business, but you're probably actually already using it. You don't even know. This is no, this is it. When you look, switch on Netflix in the evening, it's an AI that's that's making recommendations to you when you go to Amazon. Again, it's personalized shopping when you use your uh, mobile phone and ask Siri or, uh, to make a calendar invite or make a call, that's AI that we're using. So we've been using it for years. It's probably just never been as easy to use. Um, and, th and that's the that's the biggest advantage, now, as I say, the biggest opportunity for small businesses. You can jump in and start using it. You don't need to understand. You just start typing, tell what you want. And the best thing is because it's smart and intelligent, you might not even know what you want. Uh, and you can ask it and it will tell you. And through the prompt and conversations over and back, you can really uh, achieve so much more. So again, it's give it a go. There's nearly no cost just for any business owner to start with AI and uh, you'll be amazed at the results. So what is 2024 looking like for you and Profile Tree then, Karen? Oh gosh, uh, lots of change. Yeah, I think I think a big focus for us um, is trying to understand all these disruptive technologies and what's happening uh, in the space. Uh, I think the the rate of change has got even faster. But again, with that become you know, comes more opportunity. So we're looking at helping more businesses introduce AI into their business and uh, trying to help businesses with their their ranking, making sure they're found um, when people search online. So if you had to give uh, businesses listening today one piece of advice for 2024 with regards to their digital marketing, what would that be? I would say if you're not already or haven't looked at AI or you tested it and left it and it didn't work, I would definitely recommend take four hours, six hours, eight hours and sit with, for example, ChatGPT and spend a day and try and see if you can get it to work for your business. Have it write some content ask it what it thinks of web pages, uh, write some posts. And again, obviously, AI doesn't replace people. Thankfully, uh, we're, we're not there yet. But what it does, it, it, it comes up with ideas. It will give you um, advice and feedback, and it will be another brain in the, in the room. So do test it and see where you can introduce it into your business. 
it, it's definitely going to be the game changer this year and uh, next year. Kieran, it's fascinating talking to you. Could talk to you for a long time. Kieran Conley from Profile Tree, thank you for joining us on Business Bites and thank you for joining us. And we'll catch you next time. Business Bites, go further and grow stronger with Invest in I. Join local businesses generating billions exporting to Europe. Check your export readiness with Invest in I's free online export health check. Business Bites with Invest in I.